Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. Out here cruising around in the new, it's a 2024 Toyota Tundra. It is the TSS, which is the Toyota Sport Series, I guess. Just means it has a few more blacked out features to it and some side steps. That's about it. Otherwise, it's your normal, standard, typical SR5. So, I was thinking, you know, I've had a couple of other Toyota Tundras. They were the V8s with the big honking engines and then one with the smaller uh, V8 engine. And what's the difference? What do you lose in going with this version? And if you weren't aware, maybe you don't follow the Tundra, uh, it has a smaller engine in it. It's a V6 twin turbo. A big point of contention among the the Tundra enthusiasts, right? And I was a little concerned myself when I decided to get this truck. Am I going to miss something? Is it going to feel less, lesser than what I've had in the past, even the smaller V8 that I had before? And first of all, I'll give you the answer right off the bat. The answer to that is definitely not. You know, I thought I would get in this truck and I would be able to feel the difference, that it would feel uh, less powerful, as I mentioned, that it wouldn't have the acceleration that the other trucks had because they would go. I mean, particularly the bigger V8s, right? I mean, they move tons of power, of course, horrible fuel economy, but, you know, I still say when you're driving a full-size truck, you know, do you really get concerned about fuel economy? If you are, you're probably in the wrong vehicle. So from a, a power standpoint, no, I really don't notice anything different at all. It feels just as powerful as its long lost cousins, brothers, sisters, uh, fathers felt. Uh, I'd say you don't really lose anything. And I think if you jumped into uh, the V6 twin turbo right after driving the bigger V8, the older version, the previous generations, you probably wouldn't notice anything when it comes to power. Matter of fact, I would even go as far as to say that the V6 is, with the twin turbo, is a little bit quicker off the line than the V8 was. The way that it's set up, that more instant power when you hit the accelerator. I love it, it's awesome. I'm a big acceleration junkie anyway, so for me, the, the quicker it is off of the start, the better it is. Now, the obvious things. What about capability? Well, it kind of depends on what you're gonna do with it, right? I mean, I think it's just as capable as the previous generation was. You know, if you're gonna haul anything or maybe if you're gonna tow anything, the big argument is, is that the V6 is not going, with the turbos, is not going to last as long, it's not going to be as capable as what the previous versions were. I don't tow anything, so for someone like me, that really doesn't make any difference. And again, this is from my perspective, what I use the truck for. I'm not towing motor homes or campers, rather, behind me, anything, you know, ultra heavy or anything like that. I might put something in the bed now and again. I might put some dirt in there, some rocks or whatever, but hey, it's a full-size truck. I mean, there aren't gonna be any issues when it comes to that. As far as capacity goes, you're going to be able to haul as much in the back as the other for what you would do anyway. And one thing I want to mention when it comes to capacities and limitations, you know, honestly, do any of us really worry about that? I can't count the number of times I have overloaded trucks as compared to what the manufacturer says it should be in the back. In other words, you shouldn't go over whatever the weight limit is. I've done it many times, and realistically, you know, when you're at the lawn care place, let's say, and you're picking up a, a bed full of mulch or dirt or whatever, you don't know what the moisture content is. It's going to be heavier. It's going to be lighter. You just have them drop a couple of scoops or whatever it is you're after in there. You don't worry about it, and I've never really had any issues. You know, one thing I'll mention about these limitations and capacities, there's always a tolerance, plus or minus something. So it's never gonna be spot on. For instance, if you say it can haul, I don't know, 1,700 pounds, whatever, and you go to 1,701, you're gonna break the springs. Now, you could run into some warranty issues if 
the dealership or wh whoever is servicing it can prove that you overloaded the truck, which might not be too difficult to do if the springs or whatever are all bent up, then you probably could tell that maybe you put a little bit too much in the back. But surely no, uh, no real limitations from my standpoint as far as that goes in going with this next generation Tundra. What about the room on the inside? It's one thing that I always loved about those previous Tundras that I had is how big and cavernous they are on the inside of the truck. Y'all have to apologize for the lighting right now. I've got the sun coming in and causing something on the screen. But this truck is exactly the same as far as the feel on the inside to me. I don't notice any difference, and I'm sure there's some some difference if I was to look up the specs and the measurements and all that stuff. But it feels just as big and cavernous as my previous Tundras did, and I love that. I love being inside here and having that open feel, you know? I think open concept is the way everything is these days. I mean, look at houses. They're being built with the open concept. Same thing with trucks. You know, we love that big, open, uh, non-confining feeling, and you certainly get that in the Tundra. Plenty of space in here. If you haul people around with you, you know, whoever is sitting over there in the driver's seat, or the passenger seat, rather, they're not gonna feel like they're sitting right on top of you. I've had people in the back of this truck, and there is a ton of space back there. Between their knees and the seats, you've got a good foot. I mean, it just feels so big back there. And you can haul around, I think, five people, normal size people. I mean, if you're talking, you know, The Rock is riding around in your Tundra, who I think drives a Tundra, by the way. Uh, if you had five of those guys in here, well, it might get a little tight, but honestly, it's gonna get a little tight in a motor home with those kind of guys. So plenty of space in here. I love it. I love having that open feeling. I've mentioned in a few videos in the past that we're gonna we're gonna take a trip in this truck. I'm actually gonna sleep in the back, in the back seat area. So that's gonna be very interesting to me. The one thing that I wish, I did a little test. I put the dry or the passenger seat down to see if it would go flat enough that I could actually just sleep in the passenger side. Unfortunately, it does not. It's the only knock I would give from maybe sleeping in the truck is that that seat, it would be really nice if it folded all the way flat. And then I wouldn't have to do anything as far as any kind of a bed or anything like that, which by the way, I'm still going back and forth on whether I'll put a, a blow up kind of bed back there or whether I'll maybe put some coolers or something in front of the seat with a board and then put like a, I don't know, a crib style is what I'll call it, you know, like for babies, mattress back there that I can kind of sprawl out on and, and sleep in the back. And fortunately, since I'm not, you know, eight feet tall, I should be able to fit back there perfectly fine. So anyway, between this version, the current generation Tundra and the previous generation Tundra, other than, uh, you know, engine capacity or engine size, I don't think you really lose anything. I think this truck is at least equal and probably better than the previous versions were. So if you're in the market and you're looking for a Tundra and you're a little cautious because of that, depending on what you're doing with the truck, of course, I wouldn't worry about it at all. I don't think you're gonna lose anything. Leave a comment, let me know. If you have the new, the redesigned as of 2022, I think it was, Tundra, and you had some previous versions, do you miss anything? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.